going on right now is the end of the removal of the unauthorized structure that was here. Uh, the operation started around 8.30 and now we're finishing up. So the structure was uh, erected over the course of the last few days. It was not authorized to be here. It had none of the permits that were necessary. A notice was placed on the structure on Wednesday and uh, a notice was also given to the individual who is believed to have organized the building of the structure. And today, uh, because it wasn't removed voluntarily, uh, state uh, and county moved in to uh, remove it. There were two arrests, two males. Uh, the arrests were for uh, obstruction of government operations. When uh, law enforcement came to make the area safe, they provided warnings asking everyone to leave the area immediately surrounding the structure. And these two gentlemen refused to comply with repeated warnings and therefore they were arrested. There are uh, personnel from uh, DOT. There, there are folks here also from a uh, uh, small number from DOCARE, Attorney Generals, the Sheriffs, and uh, Hawaii County PD. The property we're on is a Hawaiian Homelands property. However, this is a joint uh, collaboration between uh, various state agencies as well as Hawaii County PD. I think it's pretty self-explanatory what just took place. So what the beneficiaries did was we built a learning center, a place of knowledge for our children. Um, we funded everything ourselves, we asked for no help. And this is what took place. Less than a week after we constructed our learning center for our children. And it was also a place of prayer where everybody could come. We're being denied access to the mountain. So we built a place where everybody could come and at least see the mountain and learn, learn who we are. But this is the order Isla gave William Isla from the Department of Hawaiian Homelands. A department designed to help us as beneficiaries. This, this is what they did. It's very heavy hearted and it's very disappointing to know that our leadership can do this to our people. Did you guys have the chance to put any books inside there yet? Or anything? We had a lot of stuff in there. Yeah. It's all in the trailer now. As you guys can see, the low boy. You guys can see all the rubbish on the ground. You guys can see that when we built this, there was no rubbish on the ground. So the way it stands right now, it's it's sad to see, it's sad to feel, it's sad to be a part of in this moment. But it's very warming in our hearts to know what we did for our children. We just had no control. We couldn't stop them without losing our people to the system. We need everybody to know that we did this with the purest of intentions for the Kanaka Maoli future, for knowledge, for worship, for a place to feel at home, on our lands. So anybody watching, anybody has Mana'o, please share, because we can use your help. I can use your help. Our people can use your help. Don't stay silent, voice what you know because I need every single one of you to help. I appreciate it all. This is the one thing that is self-explanatory today. Well, thank you. This was, this was a distinct operation to um, address this uh, large permanent structure that was unauthorized. And we are told by news reports that this was intended as a library for children. So there are serious concerns about fire safety, structural integrity, etc. And so that's why it had to be taken down. In terms of the materials, retrieval of materials, do you have anything you can say about that? Or? Certainly. The materials are going to be stored at a DHHL base yard in Hilo. Uh, the folks can uh, come with proper ID and proof of ownership and they can retrieve the materials. One of the challenges of this is obviously there's a lot of heightened emotion. When law enforcement arrived, uh, there was a Hawaiian flag screwed into a barricade of the door. Unfortunately, uh, law enforcement had to remove that flag. Um, they did it as respectfully as they could, but um, it, just, it just creates more tension and more hardship for law enforcement officers when they have to do something like that.